Welcome everybody to day five of our Disney vacation. Today we are heading over to Magic Kingdom and this is probably going to be a full day park because Magic Kingdom is absolutely massive. First we're going to get breakfast at Magic Kingdom. I'm not, I forget at the moment what we're going to get but I will tell you when we're over there of course. And then we're going to get on some rides, you know, uh, Haunted Mansion, I have my Haunted Mansion mask ready. Uh, Haunted Mansion, Splash, because this might be the last time that we see Splash. Space Mountain, Seven Doors, all the classics, you know, the mountain range hopefully. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So this boat that we took is actually the boat that used to be in Animal Kingdom on the Discovery Island river boats. I could tell very easily because I saw a lot of pictures of the boat and it was cool to be on this. We made it to Magic Kingdom. We are over by Adventureland. It's not as many people in the hub. The princesses were out when we first came in, so socially distanced, of course, but it was packed. Over here in Adventureland, not, not so much. We're going to go on Jungle Cruise because it's only a 30 minute wait. I want to talk a little bit about the castle. First of all, it's way better to see it in person, and it all depends on where the sun is hitting it. If you're seeing it from the angle and it's a bright day, it's going to look horrible. But when you get into the actual park and the sun is right, it looks awesome. And you, it, and you saw it. But when you come down here and you're afraid to see the castle, don't be. Because it's amazing with the new paint job. And with the gold, uh, with the new stuff for the 50th, it's going to look even better. You can see Aladdin over there but we are in line for the jungle cruise So Pirates of the Caribbean is an hour wait right now, so we are on our way to Haunted Mansion, which is a 10 minute wait. Jungle Cruise was great as always, the jokes never get old. <laughs> as I said before, we are on our way to Haunted Mansion right now, which is my favorite ride in Magic Kingdom. The mask represents me well. Haunted Mansion was not a 10 minute wait, more like a 40 or 50. I don't know what's going on with my Disney experience. It was wrapped all the way around to the Liberty Bell and past, past that even, past uh, all of Liberty Square even. So right now we're in line for Sleepy Hollow. Uh, we're going to see if I believe the snacks are all day. So I haven't had breakfast but it is almost 11 o'clock. Here, we're gonna get a corn dog. Over at Cosmic Rays, we're gonna go over there and get the Cheshire Cat tail. <laughs> Very good. Uh, the reason I had it over at over there is because Casey's Corner is closed right now, so I can't go get the corn dog nuggets and the 
hot dogs over there. Right now we're on our way over to Big Thunder. I'm over by the Diamond Horseshoe and uh, we're about to ride Big Thunder. Big Thunder, great. Uh, it's not my favorite coaster in the world because when you go up on the hill and then you come down, you come out of your seat a little bit. So I'm, I, I am tall, but I do it anyway because it's just everyone does it I, and it's too jerky. I really, it's not my favorite roller coaster in the world, sorry. So the reason that the Haunted Mansion line was so long is because they're trying to space people as much as they can and it's still kind of long but it's only a 35 minute wait and Big Thunder was a 30 minute wait and we got on there no, in no time. So probably Haunted Mansion. Right now we're on the riverboat checking out Tom Sawyer Island. This is very, very nice if you want to see Tom Sawyer Island and not actually be on the island because currently it's a 30 minute wait for it to get onto the actual island. So, no thanks. We'll take the riverboat instead, which was a walk. There's the Indian scene from the railroad, and you can see the railroad tracks back there. This is the Peter Pan's flight queue. Never actually been in here because we get fast passes all the time, but this is pretty cool. Uh, we got stuck on Peter Pan's flight for a little bit, but nothing major. It was down for like not even five minutes. We're currently looking at times. Uh, Winnie the Pooh is a little bit of a wait. Philhar Magic, which just opened back up, is uh, is not long of a wait, and we're here. So when we finalize our details, I will tell you. Guys. So Winnie is a 20 minute wait, so we're heading over there now. And uh, then we'll walk through the castle and see the Cinderella story that they have in there. And then off to Tomorrowland. There when it's open, you can enter through that. And then in there is the little sculpture of the Nautilus from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which was, used to be right around there. But off of Winnie the Pooh, we're heading over meet some people at the Mad Tea Party and then we're gonna head back to the uh, the castle. <laughs> so what you just saw right there was Cosmic Rays with Sunny Eclipse inside of it because there is seating inside available along with the Cheshire Cattail that's usually in the Cheshire Cafe <laughs> but since the cafe is closed they move it over here temporarily right now we're going over to Space Mountain I, I can't record because it's a roller coaster it goes very fast and it's completely dark so there's no sense in me recording and then uh, we're gonna go to Carousel of Progress and then Castle and that's it we're, uh, we're heading back to the resort. Space Mountain, amazing, as always. So before we leave today, I'll walk through the castle and then that's our day at Magic Kingdom. See, the castle paint job looks very good. Let's go in Sir Mickey's for a second. I wanna show you something in here. That's for like a split second, because it's very easy to see. You go in Sir Mickey's and we actually walk through the exit by mistake, but if you walk through the entrance, do the big reveal. There's Willie. I love this. It's a small shop, but you always come in here for Willie. Pay him a visit.
there's the murals that, or the, the glass murals that tell the story of Sleeping Beauty. And then out here used to be the stage where they do various shows and a character cavalcade is going on. But they would do various shows out here, but in preparation for the 50th projections, they've recently taken it down. Let's see if we can get some construction photos really quick. You can see Piglin and Rabbit up there. But it's time to say goodbye. In the comments, it's uh, time to leave Magic Kingdom. But I'm coming back here, not to vlog, but I'm coming back here tomorrow, so not missing much, thankfully. It's time to go back on the boat and back to Fort Wilderness and but not for Wilderness, sorry, Wilderness Lodge. I am signing off for the day. Tomorrow we are going to Animal Kingdom. I'm very excited for that. We haven't gotten to there this trip. We are going to hopefully ride all the rides. Definitely Flight of pa Passage. Definitely Expedition Everest. Definitely Dinosaur. Definitely Kilimanjaro. If we don't get Navi, if we don't get, I don't know, Triceratops spin, it's not that big of a deal. I don't really like those rides. Except Navi. Navi's good, but Triceratops, nah. So as always, I hope you enjoyed these vlog series, and if you do, let me know by hitting that like button, and consider subscribing. It would make me a very happy man. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Have a magical day, everybody.